Okay, students, if you want to plug in your uh, graphing calculator formulas, uh, you sure can. Um, I'm going to do mine real quick. You can find on the website that I have this little formula sheet. Um, it's even a little bit extra. I think that this is probably one of the shortest ones you can use. I felt bad. I saw some of you guys plugging them in, and, and they're really long. That's no fun at all. So uh, we got to create a new one. Enter. And it's in alphabet. You can see by the alpha sign blinking. I'm just going to type Q U A D. Enter. And now I just start to uh, enter these different uh, pieces. It, like prompt. Where the heck is prompt? Well, go to your catalog. You'll probably find prompt. And then if you press P, it'll bring you to all the P's. I go down to prompt. Prompt. Got it. Awesome. Now I just need A, B, and C. In order to get A, you to press alpha A. There's a comma. Alpha B, comma, alpha C. First line is done. Awesome. That was easy. Next line, we type in B squared minus 4AC. Alpha B squared minus 4 alpha A alpha C. And we store. You hit, there's an arrow key. It even says, let's see, an arrow key. It's right next to the number 1. And alpha D. So that, discord, that, that actually stores our discriminant value. Just makes it so we don't have to type as much. And then we just want to display, and I'm not even going to write that x-intercept stuff because that just takes extra time, and I don't have time. So we are going to hit D for display. Yes, I know there's other ways to get here. This is the way I navigate. Don't judge. Go to display. Boom. Um, and I, I type in that formula. Parentheses. Negative, not the subtraction sign, alpha B plus the square root of d, because we, we already said what the discriminant was, so I just have to type in d now. Wasn't that nice and short? Divided by parentheses, 2 alpha a. Enter. What? Oh, I thought you were yelling at me. All right. I don't allow talking in my classroom, so you guys are fine. Um, second catalog. Now I'm going to do the other one. And I've got display. Cool. Parentheses. Negative alpha B. Now I have to subtract the square root of alpha D, the discriminant. And I'm going to divide that by 2 alpha A. Done and done. If I quit that and I go into program, well, we'll just give you guys an example. If you have x squared minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0, you'll have factors to x minus 3 times x plus 1. So therefore, you should have solutions of 3 and negative 1. Let's see if we get that. Program, execute my quad. And execute my quad looks like you're going to destroy your quad muscle. Execute. I'm the only one that laughs. <laughs> oh gosh. One, enter. Uh, negative two, enter. Negative three, enter. Whoa, look at that. Super. Easiest formula in the world. Okay, it's right there for you. Enjoy it, folks. This one I might make money off of. Maybe?